Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is April 23rd, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. So California Governor Mr. Gavin Newsom takes unprecedented action, deploys National Guard to San Francisco. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. I want to thank everybody so much for the love and support. Thank you for sharing the video. Thank you for subscribing, and thank you for supporting the channel. Again, guys, uh, please continue praying for the people out there in the West Coast especially uh california so it says here you have uh mr gavin takes unprecedented action deploys national guard to san francisco and it says here uh you have mr gavin has deployed the national guard to assist in the policy and cleanup cleanup efforts of the you know what run san francisco so I guess they're gonna use the National Guard to clean up the uh the stuff in the sidewalk. You guys already know there's been a lot of reports that people complaining about great numbers of uh um certain things all over the floor like certain needles, um uh, the population of homeless tents. I mean, I mean it goes on and on. The D R U G stuff going on so again guys i'm trying to use code words just follow me on this one here so um uh, mr gavin is like man enough is enough we need to clean all this up national guard clean up clean up pick up all that stuff in the sidewalk come on let's go so it's pretty messed up but he's using national guard to be doing that type of stuff um but uh again the question is why now why now this type of stuff been going on for so many years. Why now? So it says here, uh, Mr. Gavin unveiled the unprecedented collaboration between the California Highway Patrol, California National Guard, and uh, San Francisco uh, Police Department, and the San Francisco District Attorney Office to combat the escalating, I'm just going to say D-R-U-G uh, crisis in the city. This move comes as a dramatic response to the severity of the situation, highlighting the urgency uh, with which the state gov is addressing the issue. But, okay, it's a good thing, yeah. But uh, this type of stuff should have been done years ago. Now, here's the thing, guys, is, is the numbers of the... Uh, I gotta spell stuff out. I actually apologize, guys. I don't want to get hit by the platform. So the D E A T H, those numbers has, has skyrocketed because of these type of stuff that's going on that is being put out there. And it's not only West Coast. I mean, this type of stuff is going on in Philadelphia. I mean, it's going on all over the place. I've seen videos, sad, sad, very disturbing videos. Uh, especially in Philadelphia, you have, uh, like, uh, under the bridge, that's where the people be at, and it's, it's a whole bunch of them looking like zombies. I mean, they just stand there, they just, I mean, it's just, I mean, they don't move, they're like zombies, it's like they zoomed out, I'm like, man. And the great number of, uh, Sleeping Giant Citizens are D Y I N G. So it's a good thing that this dude right here is doing something now, but uh, you know, it should have been done years ago. So uh, again, Mr. Gavin said that uh, his group will focus on dismantling uh, this D R U G trafficking and disrupting the supply of the 
Delhi, D-R-U-G, in the city by holding the operators of large-scale uh, operation accountable. Here's the thing. Build the barrier. Just, just close the southern area. That's it, period. But the problem is that we have uh, Mr. Burns. I'm just going to spell his first name, J-O-E. Mr. Byrne, he kept that sudden open. And of course, there's going to be stuff coming in. Two truth can coexist at the same time. San Francisco uh, lawlessness rate is below comparably sized uh, cities like Jacksonville um, and Fort Worth. And there is also more we must do to address public safety concerns, especially these uh, DRUG crises. Mr. Newsom said. We are taking action. It's about time. <laughs> we, we are taking action uh, through this new collaboration partnership. We are proving, uh, excuse me, providing more law enforcement resources and personnel to crack down on lawlessness linked to this stuff. Holding the poison, you know what, accountable and increasing law enforcement's presence to improve public safety and public confidence in San Francisco. Oh, it sounds good. We needed this back in 2016 or 17, or way before that. I mean, it's 2023, you're a little late, but at least he's doing something. But how many uh, of the Sleeping Giant citizen has passed away? So the San Francisco Blue Department um, has been working hard to stop DRUG uh, by making countless cuffed and all other stuff here. Say, uh, says San Francisco Blue. Uh, I'm just going to skip his name. But like I say, guys, I mean, in order to stop this, I mean, you just got to close the doors to the southern area. Despite our ongoing work and close collaboration with the district attorney, the DRUG crisis has contributed to hundreds of DRUG overdose-related death. You know why he's doing this too? He's trying to protect his uh, behind. Here's the thing. It's because there's going to be some kind of uh, a new biblical war. The sleeping giant is going to go inside Mexico. You have the, the other side, the rights. They are planning, not an invasion, but they want to go inside Mexico and say, hey, we're going to hold those groups accountable. I believe it's coming. I believe that there's a possibility whoever takes the uh, spotlight in 2024, they're saying that the 4 or 5 might win it. Who knows? But uh, again, whoever takes 2024, it seems like, that group, the administration, will go inside that land, Mexico. But uh, knowing the situation nowadays, I think uh, Mr. Burns is going to win it. Of course, they're going to find a whole bunch of uh, mail, if you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, um, it's just a sleeping giant is all screwed up. The sleeping giant is all screwed up. All right, so we welcome the support of our state partners because when we work together, we can make a significant difference to make our city safer. I'm, I'm done with this dude. Oh, man. All right, so the Cal Guard is seeing significant success uh, supporting multi-agency task forces, uh, interdicting DRUG across our state. That's coming out from the General National Guard. We expect to achieve the same success working with our partners in San Fran. Now, Mr. Gavin also took a brief walk through San Fran um, on Tuttlelon District to survey the human misery and the records of decades of the LEFT policy. I watched the video. He was out there. Of course, he has a lot of security guards. He you know, he was out there, all dressed up, wall looking like Mac Daddy and everything. 
someone is like, hey, Mr. You know who? What are you gonna do about this stuff that's going on in the sidewalk or all this mess? Mr. Gavin turned around. I'm working on it with a big smile and just walks away. Hmm. All right, so this is where we are right now, guys. Now I can't play the video due to copyright. Please do me a favor. Pray for many out there. I mean, I tell people, I don't know how people could live in that area. Um, again, guys, when it comes to the prices, when it comes to the tax, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff going on in Cali. But uh, again, like I say, guys, I pray for many out there. Um, but uh, it's not only Cali. This is happening in many other areas. Philadelphia. I mean, you have Camden, New Jersey. You have uh, Chicago. I mean, it, it's just basically all over the place. This uh, D-R-U-G. So, um, and it's spreading like fire. So this is uh, this is why you have uh, the right of trying to um, go inside of that land, Mexico, and say, hey, you guys are responsible for the stuff that is being poured into the sleeping giant. Here's the thing. They're going to do what they got to do. Mexico, you know, those groups, they, I mean, they're going to do what they got to do. But it's the leader of the sleeping giant. He needs to put his foot down and say, man, we're going to stop this. We're going to close the sudden and that's it. No, he ain't doing that. The doors are wide open. There's video all over the place coming in, bringing the you know what. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please continue praying for many. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, guys, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give a light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.